Uh, mtazamaji wa Bongo 5 kama unavyojua leo ndio kulikuwa ni tukio la RDC wa Kisarawe la kampeni ya Tokomeza Zero ambayo walikuja wadau mbalimbali sana wa sanaa na wengine ambao sio wa sanaa. Uh, pembeni yangu hapa ni naye mwanadada ambaye pia ni mwandishi wa habari journalist ambaye pia anafanya kazi na ameandika anaandika ni gazeti la Forbes Forbes magazine yes. oh, it's right yes. yes anatoka South Africa anaitwa Ansila Mangena hey how are you I'm well thank you how are you good very well thank you um, can you tell the beautiful people from Tanzania what you doing here in Tanzania I'm here to support Jokate Mugelo for her Tokomeza Zero Kisarawe project. I think it's absolutely important that we empower our young girls through education and I think this is one of the causes in the 21st century that all should be all working towards on this continent. Okay, for the first time where and when did you meet with Jokate Mugelo? I was introduced to Jokate through my brother Tongai a couple of years ago and he said to me there's this young incredible girl out of Tanzania that I absolutely think that you must meet and when I got to know her I got to understand what her essence is about how much she is always working hard to help the next person and I got to love her spirit and love her as a person and and what she's trying to do for her country okay uh, through your experience in media how did you differentiate between uh, famous people mm -hmm. and the people who have influence mm -hmm. in the society? So I, I think anyone can have influence. Um, it depends what kind of influence you're having in society. That's the important thing for me. So even if you have a thousand followers, if your influence changes somebody's lives or, or impacts somebody's life to be better, to feel better and it's positive, then your influence is actually great influence. So, so that's my differentiation. It doesn't matter how many followers or how many people know of you. It's about what impact you do and make for only those people that are in your circles. Uh, can you can you mention maybe two people, three people, people who have influence? A lot of people have influence. It depends what you're looking for at that particular time and you know in, in that particular space. I'll give you a story. Um, one of my friends, Isaya Yunge, from here in, in Tanzania, I believe that he's got influence. I've gotten DMs and people email me saying, Ansela, you know, the story of this guy has influenced me to start my own business, look at my company registration document because of a story like this. So I, I consider him somebody with positive influence. I know you win the different awards from the different country. Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, what? What? What make you? What make you win uh, awards? I don't know. I, I I think that it's 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 God's glory number one, and secondly, it's living in purpose and doing every single day what I was meant to do when I was born. So every time I try to make sure that I live to the expectations of the universe. Um, I do what I was meant to do, and I do the best work I can do and then everything else follows man I don't need to do much I just need to work hard do what I'm meant to do and whatever I'm supposed to get will just come to me I want to say Tanzania thank you thank you thank you for having me beautiful country beautiful people everyone was welcome Ming, everyone was smiling at me everyone oh, literally opened up their arms for me so I think this is a country with so much potential with such great people and I just want to say keep the spirit that you have and you know more of us are going to be coming to visit your country if you keep at it like this thank you so much thank you thank, thank you, you for so having much. me